Hi everyone, glad to be uh, back. Today is uh, 4th of uh, September, now it's almost 10 o'clock uh, Moscow time. I'm Levan Gudadze uh, and you are on, on the channel in which uh, I try to share with viewers uh, information that are making uh, headlines in Russian media outlets for this moment. Before I start, uh, let me once again uh, ask you to subscribe on my channel if you are new and uh, leave some commentary uh, or push like a button that will greatly increase uh, possibility that, possibility that uh, uh, my channel will reach uh, more uh, people and bigger audience mm. so let's start man uh, let's start uh, there is some uh, interesting news and uh, let's have an uh, exchange of opinions about it I will start uh, with a new update from uh, Russian Defense uh, Ministry uh, they as you know, every day I are making updates about uh, last 24 hours. So let's start with this. So main news from uh, today's uh, briefing of Russian Ministry of Defense is that they said that uh, the armed forces of Ukraine lost more than uh, 150 soldiers during uh, unsuccessful attempt to gain a foothold in a certain uh, sections of the Nikolaev Krivoy uh, direction. Uh, if we, you know, if you see map Nikolaev and Krivoy uh, uh, you will straight away understand that uh, the defense uh, ministry spokesmen were talking were talking about so-called uh, Kherson offensive, Kherson counteroffensive of uh, forces that are loyal, still are loyal to Zelensky. Uh, but, uh, as I was saying in previous videos, uh, this uh, counteroffensive has stalled uh, and we can see that uh, activities uh, on, the, on the front line is uh, going down and as a result, uh, I mean, if we can say that anything good comes from this, is that uh, there are less casualties uh, from uh, both sides. I don't have uh, information about casualties uh, on side of uh, Russian and Allied forces, but uh, Russian Defense Ministry does uh, gives us uh, information about uh, casualties of uh, Zelensky's regime side. So, on Nikolai Krivoyrov direction, uh, they lost uh, 150 soldiers. That's KAA killed in action. Mm, which means that uh, approximately 4,500 uh, soldiers were wounded at uh, the same time. Uh, in the same area were uh, shut down Russian air forces uh, in a... It seems like it was air-to-air -air, uh, fight, I mean dogfight, uh, if you like. Uh, Russian air forces did uh, shut down uh, Ukrainian SU-25 SU-25 uh, uh, attack plane uh, which is uh, I mean generally SU-25 are working on, on the ground in close support of uh, ground forces and of course uh, any jet will have no problem to shut down this plane line. so it looks like uh, some Russian jets did so on radars this plane and uh, then was only a matter of time before they shut down this plane uh, I'm surprised I will say a few uh, words about this uh, uh, topic that uh, I'm, I'm quite surprised that Ukraine still has some uh, planes man, left uh, which is I mean which makes me think that uh, uh, Western uh, uh, masters of uh, Zelensky did give him uh, 
it gives him at least uh, some parts of the uh, old Soviet jets that were in territories of uh, uh, Eastern uh, European countries. Or maybe even they send uh, planes uh, itself. Because uh, Eastern European countries did have uh, in, in the uh, military inventory uh, Su-25 uh, attack planes, uh, MiG-29 uh, jets, you know, Mi Mi-8 uh, helicopters. So uh, even though uh, I don't have official information to confirm this, but uh, I will be not I will not be surprised if uh, in the uh, next few days. We will hear uh, from officials information that uh, Eastern European states did provide uh, to Ukraine their, you know, their old uh, aircrafts and uh, helicopters. Who knows, man? Uh, let's wait and see. So okay, I'm continuing uh, to give information about this briefing of uh, Russian Defense Ministry. So. Let's continue. You know, aviation and, arti and artillery hit four command posts uh, in uh, in a day. So, uh, in the last 24 hours, four command posts were hit, including headquarters of the Kraken uh, National uh, Formation. Kraken is uh, in West, uh, if you're living in the West uh, and uh, just watching or reading Western propaganda, you will probably never hear about uh, this uh, unit Kraken. This is neo-Nazi unit, like uh, many others that are incorporated in uh, Ukrainian armed forces. Uh, so, like Azov, for example, you know, uh, Azov, Aidar, uh, Dnepr, and uh, so on. So it seems like uh, headquarters of this uh, Kraken unit was uh, hit. But there is no information about what kind of damage was done. So, you know, let's continue. Avi aviation and artillery destroyed uh, three ammunition depots in the DPR and Zaporozhye region. So, same time, there were three ammunition depots uh, blew up, it seems like. It looks like. Uh, then, uh, Russian forces. Uh, liquidated 110 militants of the 30th uh, mechanized and 95th air assault brigades in uh, Kharkiv region and uh, DPR. DPR is, uh, if you don't know, uh, Donetsk People's Republic. DPR and LPR, like Lugansk uh, People's Republic. That are regions that. Uh, uh, separated themselves from uh, Ukraine. So you can see now that uh, intensity of uh, fight in the uh, southern part where uh, so called Kherson uh, counteroffensive was started by uh, Zelensky's regime. I mean, uh, intens intensity of uh, fight is almost similar now in the south. That it is in the uh, north side because if uh, in last 24 hours in south side in the uh, area of uh, counteroffensive, Kherson counteroffensive, Zelensky's regime lost 150 soldiers in the north uh, around Kharkov and uh, you know in uh, DPR territories and around Kharkov. Kharkov is uh, much uh, way uh, up north. Uh, uh, Zelensky's regime lost 110 uh, uh, soldiers. So we can uh, definitely say now that uh, Kherson counteroffensive effectively is over. There is no counteroffensive, no nothing there. Uh, Zelensky's regime did uh, destroy. Uh, manpower of two brigades without achieving anything man. you know we can say that in last five days on the south side uh, in area of uh, this 
Person uh, counteroffensive, uh, Zelensky's regime lost around uh, 10,000 uh, soldiers, killed and wounded. Two, 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 2,500 around 3,000 3, uh, soldiers were killed in that area and uh, 6 7,000 wounded at least, you know. Uh, if we take in uh, in account uh, information from uh, Russian Defense Ministry for last days, so yeah, it is what it is, man. Uh, let's continue. Uh, there were four strikes on uh, the project nuclear power plant uh, in last 24 hours, and. Uh, Ukrainian forces try to use eight uh, drones to attack uh, to attack the uh, Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, but it uh, seems like l Russian units of uh, uh, of uh, um, let me let me translate this one. That, you know, it seems like uh, Russian forces somehow managed to uh, take down communications uh, with these drones and uh, to take down drones uh, too. So mm, these drones did not make any, did not reach the Zaporozhye nuclear uh, power plant. So that's it, man. Uh, that's it uh, about this briefing. Uh, information is of course devastating for uh, Zelensky's regime and uh, for, for first of all not to Zelensky's regime and uh, you know Zelensky's regime don't care about people and uh, don't care about it but uh, loyal to regime you know they, they don't care about people that are loyal to them uh, and they don't care about anyone uh, really but uh, this everyday stuff, man. You know, every day are coming news about Ukraine and what's going on there. They, all, everything, this, all, all this stuff is tragic for Ukraine, Ukrainian society, man. What else can you say? You know. So, you know, let me uh, give you some few more uh, information about news that are making headlines here on TASS News Agency. We have information that. U.S. Ambassador uh, John Sullivan has uh, left his position uh, as ambassador and uh, left Moscow too. So, why am I uh, bringing up this information? Uh, that's because, uh, in my understanding, Washington is not happy with work of uh, John Sullivan. John Sullivan, uh, because. Uh, as you know, U.S. embassies uh, usually are uh, centers of uh, destruction in the countries that they are presented. Uh, in some countries they are successful, in some, some countries they are not successful. For example, if they are successful, then those countries usually are end up in, in some big trouble and are destroyed. Uh, one way or another, and uh, Ukraine is a good example for for, for that. You know, U.S. Uh, did uh, you know implement uh, regime change in 2014, and since then, uh, I mean, uh, Ukraine was devastated. You know, and Ukrainian society was devastated. You know, so. So, you know, what I want to say is that uh, it seems like uh, Washington was not happy because John Sullivan did not ma and uh, his staff uh, did not manage to uh, to distract Russian society or to, you know, or to generate some... Uh, to generate some you know, disaster, let me translate. Uh, 
Uh, then I'm gonna remember English, man, probably, properly. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, probably Washington did expect from this uh, person and his uh, his colleagues in embassy that they will somehow manage to uh, you know destabilize Russia. That's the word man I was looking for to destabilize Russia. You know uh, using so-called opposition leaders and stuff um, but they did not manage nothing man uh, from pro western uh, i mean pro western opposition i mean because uh, real opposition will never work with uh, foreign uh, uh, powers because that's a treason for god's sake man. but this so called pro you know pro western uh, opposition leaders they are you know they are traitors in my mind and they do work uh, for for whoever gives them money and uh, opportunity to feel themselves as uh, as like some kind of important uh, elements even though they are just like dust on a chessboard man they are not even pawns man they are dust on the chessboard and maybe not even that. So, uh, Joe Sullivan didn't manage to uh, do anything. Uh, these so called pro Western opposition in Russia are in, uh, in, in non existent uh, uh, situation right now. Most of them are, did run from Russia, some of them are in jail for. Uh, crimes that they committed so probably Washington is not happy because with work of Joe Sullivan and they are changing him and new uh, ambassador will be probably much more aggressive you know and the uh, embassy staff which is I mean I don't know how many in percentage wise but who knows how many uh, CIA Assets are working in, in embassies, man. I mean, probably half of them are uh, CIA people, you know. So it is what it is, man. This ambas ambassador is gone, and the next one probably will be much more hawkish one, you know. But he will don't succeed either. I hope, uh, at least, because in Russia we don't need no. Uh, destruction, man. You know, we need quiet, peaceful life and stability. And uh, if uh, someone will try to destabilize this country, I mean, maybe just people may go out and just take care of them. You know. So it is what it is, man. Let's go to you know. Some other news here. I mean, uh, it's interesting stuff. Yesterday, as you knew, I was talking about some huge uh, demonstration in Prague, uh, in capital of Czech uh, Republic. Uh, people were not happy uh, with their lives, and they were. Uh, they had probably many different. Uh, reasons to go out uh, and protest and uh, as i understand uh, one of the dem demands that they had was uh, i may be wrong i mean if you are from czech republic I mean, you can uh, write in comment sections what was about this this protest but as i understand people are not happy because of uh, because life is uh, getting more and more expensive and they were you know, at least that's what I read in Russian news outlets that between the demands of these people, these uh, Protestants, uh, one of the demands was to take some neutral position uh, when it comes to Ukraine and did good, didn't go in a full crazy mode in relationships with Russia. Uh, but I, I, I was not there, so who knows. But now today we have information, uh, yes, uh, today, 
I did uh, listen uh, uh, in one of the blogs uh, that there was in Paris too some kind of manifestation uh, yesterday and now we have in German uh, city of uh, Köln uh, demonstration smaller one we cannot compare it to a Prague's uh, massive demonstration here only 400 people did come out and protest but uh, anyway man it seems like uh, I mean as I was saying yesterday uh, it seems like at least some people in uh, Europe are waking up man. you know and realizing that uh, uh, their elites pushing the societies of these countries to a corner you know towards catastrophe and uh, why should anyone in, in Europe uh, you know why should anyone want it that kind of uh, future man, you know so people are waking up little by little you know and uh, at least asking questions start to ask questions man and that's good that's really good man you know uh, otherwise these western elites that are absolutely out of control they may do some uh, unimaginable damage man not just to europe but to entire world man that's how crazy they are man let's go man uh, towards the uh, end of this video and uh, read about some more news uh, you know Kremlin in, you know put his uh, spokesperson Zelensky uh, Zelensky what what the fuck man uh, what is his name man Peskov yeah uh, Dmitry Peskov, he is a Putin spokesperson. Uh, he, so he said that Kremlin is uh, considering in what kind of manner they will respond to a uh, European ban on Russian travelers, restrictions uh, that the uh, EU made uh, on Russian uh, travelers. And he did not specify what kind of uh, uh, actions will take Russia, but me from myself i will say that uh, i hope i hope there will be no travel restrictions for ordinary europeans man i hope so uh, because uh, uh, russia sh should stay on high ground man european elites they, they are i mean they're falling man too low so you, you, know, you can you cannot act like them you know so uh, probably uh, i will be happy if russia just does nothing in regards to this uh, this uh, european ban uh, on russian travel but you know if they want in kremlin to do something you know like they can ban travel for uh, european politicians you know they can ban uh, European politicians to travel to Russia. And that's, you know, that's quite reasonable and good enough. Man. There is no need to go to extremes, man. Absolutely. That's my opinion. So let's wait and see how Kremlin will uh, respond. Man. Uh, but um, what European elites did, that's just unbelievable. Entire world just, you know, does see that. Uh, uh, Western elites really are truly are Russophobic and Nazi elements, man. You know, because they are they are openly saying that they want to harm ordinary Russian citizens just because they are Russian citizens, man. That's extremely xenophobic, uh, extremely Nazi. And that you know you have to have Nazi ideology, man, to go that that low, man. You know. Because normal human beings don't operate that way, man, in my understanding. So let's, um, and same time, same time, uh, we have information here, um, same person, uh, spokesperson of uh, uh, Russian president, 
said today uh, that uh, Moscow is ready for talks with uh, Kiev but uh, topic for for talk can be uh, can be uh, uh, roadmap how will Kiev implement Russian demands so you see now man you know what is happening uh, like months ago maybe a little more Putin did said that uh, longer this conflict will go on in Ukraine harder it will be for Kiev to to talk with Moscow and that's exactly what is happening now and if uh, Kiev if Zelensky's regime did not start talking now it will get even harder in a month or two months or three months time so it is what it is man let's see oh uh, this you know let me share with you this information and that's probably it man because this video is already too long uh, here we have information that uh, Big Hadron uh, Collider that are in uh, Switzerland may be stopped because of uh, uh, energy crisis. That's that's what uh, that's how bad situation really is, man. In in Europe, it seems like you know. Uh, this uh, uh, collider, pro you know, uses huge amounts of energy, uh, obviously, because they need to uh, cool down magnets, you know, and uh, they, uh, all this construction is is all about energy, man. Uh, and to me, you know, just imagine how much energy you have to put in to accelerate particles, almost, I mean almost up to uh, light speed man and light speed is something around 300,000 kilometers in a second so just imagine man, how much energy they are putting in this construction to accelerate these particles man on up to that level so of course uh, you know and they are afraid that uh, if uh, some emergency shutdown will occur that will damage this uh, Collider, uh, which uh, which were built, you know, I mean, price tag for this collider is four billion uh, U.S. dollars. So obviously, uh, uh, the scientists that are working there, they are, you know, uh, they want to take some uh, em emergency steps. So they are already. Uh, trying to minimize energy consumption and they may even s entirely stop uh, Collider so that uh, They will secure all, all that uh, equipment that are used in this uh, Huge project So that this is that you know this that does gives you some uh, you know information i mean to how bad really this energy crisis is are already in europe and how 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 bad it can get in the in the future so probably this is it for now uh probably this is it for now i hope uh, you find uh, this video interesting um, I will just uh, give you. Uh, I will just take a few minutes. That's this is a second video for me today, man. When I came from from work uh, this afternoon, it was like six o'clock, maybe seven in the afternoon, and uh, I did make one video. But when I check uh, quality of uh, sound and uh, picture, sound was just terrible, man. You know, in a bad, in a, in a good days, sound of uh, my videos uh, are not good enough. But 
today sound was in in the first video sound was just you know I was not able to upload that that kind of uh, video with so so much uh, um, you know with such a bad sound so that's why I'm right you know I was thinking maybe I, I don't need to do this video man you know, and stuff but for God's sake man uh, I did read comments and uh, some people do write you know what uh, we like this project because we, we, we can get some information and perspective from our other side and that's good you know so uh, who knows man maybe someone really were waiting for this video man just to just to you know uh, get just to learn about like so something new or just to uh, receive uh, some alternative perspective on today's is today's news man who knows man that's why you know I, I i did say that you know let's make this video upload and then you know so it is what it is man uh, my english is g getting to my nerves i am trying to uh, remember man how to talk properly for god's sake i used to talk proper english man like 15 17 years ago but because I did not have practice for so many years, man, it's it's it just sometimes it's just too hard, man, even to say some simple uh, sentences, man. But anyway, you know, I hope this video was interesting. Uh, at least I try, man. So yes, I mean, if you can, please subscribe. Uh, and leave some comment and uh, I'll promise uh, if I see notification and uh, the commentary I will uh, uh, write uh, back at least to say thank you man, for your attention and uh, you know I may do some uh, if it's necessary uh, uh, I, I may do some uh, videos like Q&A kind of videos and, and in that video I will try to articulate every question that I will receive uh, in, in, in commentary sections and then I will try to answer uh, uh, and uh, you know if, if, if it will be interesting then you know I, I may do that kind of stuff like in, in, in future too so it is what it is man uh, it's time to say goodbye for now and uh, have a nice have a nice day evening morning uh, in different parts of the world it's different time now so thank you for for your attention have a nice uh, time and uh, see you soon take care